area and circumference formulas. The area of a circle, and just note that we're in the circles unit, the area of a circle, you do pi times the radius squared. You can write those in the other order as well. You could say radius squared times pi, or you can do the pi times the radius squared. Typically, we actually end up writing the number first and the pi symbol second. On your calculator, there is a pi symbol that we're going to start using. It might be buried different in different spots on different calculators, but on a TI-83 or TI-84, it's above the caret. So anytime we're gonna be using the pi, I actually do want you to use the pi symbol. Pi is a repeating decimal that goes on forever. So it's not just 3.14, it has a lot more decimal places with it. So if you don't use the pi symbol in your calculator, you won't get all of the decimal places that you need in order to um, get the most accurate answer. So I don't wanna see any 3.14s on anybody's paper anymore. If I see you 3.14, you will get marked down. Use the pi symbol. So because this is a repeating decimal and it's ugly and it's long and it's gross, what are, most of the time what we're going to do is treat the pi kind of like an X. It's going to come along for the ride almost like a variable. You should think about it as a variable, as an X. It does mean a number, does mean a value. We can replace it with 3.14, but you don't need to write 3.14 on your paper. You can just write the pi symbol. The circumference formula is 2 times pi times the radius. And most of the time, we're going to join the 2 and the r together and leave the pi alone. So it ends up being 2 times a radius, which is the same thing as a diameter. So you can do diameter times pi as well and get the same answer. So let's try some examples. Find the area for the circles 1 through 4 and the circumference for circles 5 through 8. So we're doing area for these four and circumference for these four. So if we want the area, we do pi times our radius, which in this case is 12. So 12 squared. So then 12 squared is 144 and then times pi. This is an exact answer. And then if you want to know what that is approximately, you can type it into your calculator and say 144 pi. You can type it in directly with the pi symbol, which is approximately 452. And then it doesn't say what to round to. Let's do two decimal places. How about 0.39? This does have units on it, so it's really meters squared. Let's try another. We're going to leave them as exact answers moving forward. I don't want to take it to the decimal each time. So 18 is the diameter, and I want the radius, so the radius is 9. So if we want the area of this circle, it's pi times the radius squared, which is 9 squared. And as an exact answer, 9 squared is 81 times pi. We just bring the pi along for the ride. You try the next two on your own. Okay, now I would like us to calculate the circumference of each of these. So the circumference is two times pi times radius. Our radius here is seven. So two times pi times seven. So the two and the seven are really what we're putting together to make our exact answer. The two and the seven make a 14 pi.
All right, two times pi times r. <clears throat> two times 15.6 is 31.2 pi. So on these ones, they give you a diameter. So instead of cutting it in half and getting a radius and then multiplying it by two, we can use the diameter times pi portion of it. So the diameter is 58 pi, or the diameter is 58, so the circumference is 58 pi. Again, I've given a diameter, so I can use diameter times pi. So that's gonna be 10.2 pi. Use the area and circumference formulas to find the radius or the diameter. Find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 65.97 meters. So working backwards, we can say that circumference equals diameter times pi. Because I want a diameter, I can use the diameter one. So now I replace the circumference with the value I know. So 65.97 equals diameter times pi. And then remember that pi is just a number, and I want the diameter by itself. So how are these joined? With a multiplication. So to undo multiplication, we divide both sides by pi. So an exact answer here is going to be 65.97 divided by pi. This one says find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 21.99 feet. So let's use the one that uses a radius. So circumference equals 2 times pi times r. We're trying to get to r. Circumference is 21.99 equals 2 times pi times r. We're trying to get to the radius, recall. So we need to take the 2 and the pi off. They're all joined together with multiplication, so we can take them all off at the same time with division. So r equals, and in this case, what you can do is just the 21.99 divided by 2. So then an exact answer here would be 10.995 pi to get the radius. I'm sorry, divided by pi because the de pi is in the uh, denominator. I'm so sorry. Find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 35 pi yards. This is the first time it's had a pi on it. So circumference equals two, two pi r. So circumference is 35 pi equals two pi r. Divide by 2 pi. And then this time, the 2 pi's cancel, the pi's cancel, and you just do the 35 divided by 2, and the 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. Find the radius of a circle with an area of 308.13. This is the first time they've provided us an area, and we want to work backwards to a radius. So an area formula is pi times radius squared. The area is 380.13 equals pi times radius squared. Then we're gonna divide by pi on both sides to get the r squared alone. So then you have r squared equals the, we need to actually calculate this so 380.13 divided by pi is 120.999. Let's call that 121, approximately. And then the opposite of a square is a square root. So r is approximately 11. Why don't you try these last two on your own?
The only difference with those two is that you need to multiply your radius by two to get your diameter. All right, last section. Use the information given to find the area or circumference. Find the area of a circle with a circumference of 26 pi feet. The key to any of these formulas, the overlapping piece is the radius. So what you need is to extract a radius from this circumference in order to calculate the area. So the first thing we're gonna do is work backwards with the circumference formula, which is two pi r. And we're gonna plug in the 26 pi into two pi r. Divide by two pi. So then the pi's cancel, 26 divided by two is 13. So now we know the radius, yay. So if we know the radius, we can use that to calculate the area, which is pi r squared. So then the area is pi times 13 squared. 13 squared is 169 pi. You try this one. Also try the next two. Thank you.